Well, I'm joined now by Richard Tice, co-chairman of Leave Means Leave. Realistically, how easy will it be to do a quick deal? Look, any deal is possible when both sides have a like-minded approach, a business-like approach, to getting a deal done. I understand from my sources that actually it's really in the interests of the US to do a quick deal with a like-minded nation. They need to be seen to be internationalists, they need to be seen not to be protectionists, but actually to welcome free trade on the right terms. And it's in their interest and it could be in our interest. I understand they want to do it in about 188 day, 180 days. And that's a real opportunity for us. The question is, can our foreign office, can our diplomats and civil servants and negotiators, can they respond quick enough? And I think that's a crucial question they need to be told. Well, doesn't that also point to the fact that we lack trade negotiators because we have relied in the past on, on the EU to do our negotiations. We do not have the diplomatic power to do this sort of negotiation and therefore the danger is we get rolled over. Now, look, there's all sorts of myths about this. Firstly, we've been, off been offered negotiators from other parts of the world. Secondly, it's nothing like as difficult as people make out. There are literally dozens, if not hundreds of people from the private sector, expert negotiators who probably would do as good or better a job and they should be brought in and given a very clear mandate. And you don't need to agree everything. What, the, the way to approach it is to say, look, there's some difficult stuff that we can't agree. Put that in phase two box. Agree the limited stuff where actually you know you want to do a quick deal. Things like cars, things like wine, things like meat. You could do that. That would be hugely advantageous for ourselves. The opportunity for more Jeeps, less Mercedes on the street, that'll make German car manufacturers put pressure on Angela Merkel. And yet we hear from the European Commission this lunchtime saying very clearly, categorically, Britain cannot begin trade negotiations until we leave the EU in 2019. Well, they would say that, wouldn't they? But it's complete and utter nonsense. Both legally it's nonsense and practically it's nonsense. We're entitled to talk with whoever we want to about our relationships after we have left. And it, what are the EU going to do about it? You know, the reality is it's in our interests and actually it'll turn out to be in the EU's interest because it'll help them understand that we should have a sensible tariff-free deal with them because we're negotiating such deals with other countries around the world.